This is a blog. It has a theme. I've sung a theme. Now it's a blog. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, it's Tobias. Hello. How are you? I, um, this is the background that I'm going to try to use for more of this uh, video vlogging stuff, which uh, we'll probably do a burst of, and then I'll do another burst of filk songs, and I'll post more performance videos as I work out the cunning plan by which I will be able to post those. Um, just in case you're curious, and I know many people sometimes are, as to how it is that I'm doing this, um, I am doing this through a cutting-edge technological rig, which looks an awful lot, I wonder if I can do, pull this off correctly, like this, a table with an iPad with uh, coasters propping it up because the iPad case uh, doesn't go straight vertical. So that's, uh, that's our technological stuff. Uh, edited on either uh, on the iPod movie app on the iPad or uh, further post-production, if that is the right word for it, in, uh, in YouTube. Um, I've got access to a couple of other programs, and depending on whether or not I can be smart enough to connect this thing up to my uh, aging uh, MacBook, I may be able to throw this thing through, quick through uh, iMovie on that and do like more editing and things. So that's, that's that. Um, in the last video I posted, I showed you the prettiest thing that I know, and uh, there is actually a story behind why I got interested in silk magic, even though I haven't really done a lot of it in my professional performing career. And um, the reason for that goes back to when I was living in Oregon. We just moved from California to Oregon about 2005. My day job moved me there, and I'm very happy for that because it got me out of California at the right time to sell the house, and there's a whole other story there, which you're not really interested in, but, so I'll skip ahead. Um, so I had moved to Oregon, but I was still performing shows in California, and there was an event called the California, uh, called, sorry, called the Calaveras Celtic Festival, which happened in Calaveras County and the Calaveras County Fairgrounds, the same Calaveras County that is known from the celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County, the Mark Twain story, which if you've never read, um, I'm going to see if I can find a uh, link to it and put it here in post-production. We'll see if that works. And um, so I had to fly from Oregon to California with my act, which at that point was a wooden box filled with metal objects, chains, swords, uh, linking rings, padlocks, all that kind of good stuff, and it had to be checked through. So I had to put it into a bigger metal crate uh, shipping box, and I had a I put a uh, a cart, a little folding cart, in the crate as well, so I could then carry the crate. So I have to open up the crate, take out the cart, put the cart up, crate on the cart, take that, and so I took all of that, checked it in, flew to the Bay Area, got a rental car, and I got the cheapest rental car I could because it's a little bitty, tiny, you know, kind of inbred compact drove from the Bay Area to Calaveras County in March, and it snowed um, up there. It snowed a lot. It snowed like eight, nine inches of snow. And so I'm driving my little tiny car, and there are these enormous car-eating trucks going by me on all sides. I make it up there. The next morning, I go out to the site, and it's all hills. Every, every, that, this is one of the hilliest fairgrounds I've ever seen in my life. There's not a level surface to be found anywhere. You're going uphill all the time. You're going uphill. You're going uphill. Even if you go downhill for a moment, nope, psych, you're going to go uphill again. I have to park on the parking lot, and I drag this thing, and I put my cart, my, pull my cart out of the trunk, put the crate on the trunk, and I got all this metal. I got like 40, 50 pounds of stuff in here. I'm just barely getting past getting under the uh, weight requirement for baggage when I check this thing in. And I realize that I'm walking in the snow, uphill, both ways, to do this show. And I realized at that moment that I'm reliving my father's childhood. And if I'm going to keep flying to gigs, I need something lighter. 
And that is when I thought, you know, silk, silk scarves, those are light. You can fold them, you can put them in your pocket. You don't even have to check them in his luggage. Hmm. Now, how I got that trick, the prettiest thing I know how to do, is out of a book called Improm The Encyclopedia of Impromptu Magic by Martin Gardner. And it really is. It's a big, thick book. I'm going to uh, stop this, go get the book, and come back so I can show you. Uh, just a moment. Hey, we're back. This book. It's a big mother. Um, it's got a lot of stuff in it. And I have done a lot of reading on it, and I have put a lot of little sticky notes on here for things that I'm interested in. That trick is actually in here. There's lots of tricks. This book has been out of production for at least a couple of decades. But just recently, a new version called Impromptu has come out. If I'm really, really smart in post-production, I'm going to try and put a link to it up here. And I'll also put it in the uh, description in the YouTube video stuff, so that way, if you don't, if you weren't fast enough to get to that, you can get to the link. Um, if you dig magic, if you dig just being able to do cool things, if you dig coming up with stupid gags on the spot, like some of us can not not do due to the fact that we have a fundamental flaw in our nature, um, <laughs> we have a fun and there's a fundamental flaw in my character. Um, then I would strongly recommend that you check this out. It's about $140, but it is filled with things you can do with stuff you can find anywhere. And um, I would strongly recommend that you follow the advice of a very, very talented magician who is no longer with us named uh, Bob Reed. Find five things, five cool things you can do. Learn them. Really learn them well. Don't inflict them on anybody like randomly don't walk up to random strangers but if you are any ever in a position where you can do one of those five cool things and somebody asks you hey can you do something because if you say you're a magician the first thing people are going to ask you to do is to perform your art for free um then you can do them or not or you can ask for a dollar and then do them because that makes you a professional so um that's the story behind how I got into silk magic, the coolest thing I ever, the, the prettiest thing I know how to do. Um, the uh, Encyclopedia of Impromptu Magic, which is a fantastic resource. I highly recommend that you check out Impromptu, which, if I was really smart, I would put a link up here, lurking over my shoulder. Um, I will probably do more of these because I figured out how to set this up so that it, it uh, looks at least vaguely interesting. I hope you've been interested in my jabbering. I am Tobias the Adequate. This is apparently a vlog. We'll see if I do more of these. I'll probably do some more uh, next week. And uh, thank you for encouraging my behavior. That was the vlog. This was the theme. The theme is done. And so it's a vlog. Oh, yeah, one other thing. I wear a fez. I've worn a fez for years. I wore a fez before Matt Smith. I'm wearing a fez after Matt Smith. I win.